Okay, all. Um, just wanted to show you um, some of the lycanmos that I've uh, weathered for my bridge. So there's a quick view, but we'll go through each one. So I'll start with um, 967 here. So it's a trainer armor model. The steps are going to be done, but I hear now. Um, but what I did here is it needed to be faded down. So uh, here's an example of the trainer armor out of the box, red, and my version of the red. You can see it really needs to be chalked out quite hard. So um, what I did is I took a photograph, like so, from the internet. And then um, I mixed up some humble paints and so forth and gave it this faded look. I also needed to do down here all of this silver needed to be dulled down. So that's been done on both sides as well. And uh, this model was a, um, a pre weathered, so I had to sort of cut that back and I cut it back using. Um, Methylene spirits and a um, cotton butt. But, uh, that's roughly the, the model as it is. Still needs some airbrushing. Obviously, they all need that. They need um, airbrushing and um, sand applied. So this one's a, a work in progress. This is 936, and uh, oh, sorry, 836. <laughs> Uh, and uh, it's had yellow bogies at the time, and um, I've got to change all of this to the proper traffic yellow. It's uh, the wrong colour, but that's a work in progress. I just done the feet on that. So, um, and then uh, what else we got here is um, I'll go through some of these uh, single enders. So um, let's grab nine thirty one first. So. 931 was actually, uh, they did bring out uh, unnumbered um, single letter 930s. And uh, this is all pretty obvious to the, um, the locomotive uh, black bogies at the time. Uh, I had to blacken out all the grill work here. Um, the top hasn't been done yet, so they'll, they'll be done with an airbrush. So, uh, but everything here has been faded out, and by, by fading, I mean um, the green has had a, um, a coat of fade over the lot of it. Uh, I'll give you an example here. Here is an untouched trade line model, and you can see the difference. It's quite obvious between the two. But, um, fading does a, a proper um, look to it, uh, which I'm sort of happy with. So, uh, so yeah, this took a good time to get these stains down the back here, and you know, you've got to put stains in the corners and the and the tops and all that sort of thing. So yeah, across over the. So this here, this this will get I'll get rid of that with a bit of um, a spray paint. But um, uh, the other thing, of course, is all of this needs to be um, um, oiled and all that sort of thing. So anyway, I'm reasonably happy with that. It's uh, nine thirty one. So. And then following on from that, you got 932 here. And again, as per photographs, so I paid attention to around here. As you can see, there's a photograph. Oops, one of them. So uh, this one was partially factory weathered. All this is factory weathering on the top here. So it took a while to cut it back. So they went a little bit overboard, I think. And again, I need the steps to be put on, so I don't stress too much about that. So, um, there's the other side there. Put the um, uh, check letters on, etc., like that. So, it only needs to be sort of pretty subtle, but uh, again, at this point in time, 932 did have the silver bogies. Right, move on. Here, it's, uh, well, it's 9.31, so here we've got 9.34, okay, and again, it was factory weathered, uh, a little bit too harsh, so I had to cut that back, 
and um, we'll do some work on my nose here you can see a little gap there that I need to fill in um, but the sides here again this is all done with brush um, and humber oil paints just ever so gently and you can cut it back using um, again the metho will cut it out pretty quickly um, you can even dab a bit of on the um, on a brush or something like that but um, you need to get this variation happening here amongst all of these so um, that's exactly what I've done there's a little bit of an oil stain there that'll come out I'll, I'll use um, some uh, gloss paint at the end of that after I sprayed it so um, moving on um, what we've got here we've got um, all the later series so that's um, 54 60 and 50 so 50 again this was a pre-weathered model and I had to cut this back a lot so um, you can see on the roof line here um, that um, that should actually be green the top here I'm going to change again I'm obviously going to spray it um, but that was that gives you an idea of what it was previously it's like oh it's a little bit over the top um, but again it's been faded out um, and then down the side you've got the the stains going through and of course you've got to put the black in to, to get the detail to come out and then cut it back. Um, I find that the, the best technique, of course the bogies are black like they should be. Strangely enough, um, trying to to actually produce a model with the, I don't think they'd produce a model with the black bogies, which is also for that era sort of needed. So um, yeah, that gives you an idea of what's going on there. And that's, um, there's a photograph there uh, from the net, roughly, as you can see up there, that's, that's the roof. You see, you've got plenty of roof green on those sort of um, green, um, overall painted locomotives of the era. This is 960. So again, this is um, uh, a lot less uh, grime than it sort of should have. Again, black bogies. Um, there's a bit of silver showing through. Um, but you're going to get this grime effect happening here. And again, lots of fade through it. It's going to make a bit of variation as you go through. The back end of these locos was filthy. So, um, and the noses, I'll do um, a proper fade. Um, and uh, um, I'll spray the roofs and stuff like that with uh, the appropriate grime. And, and again, down the sides here, lots of... Um, sand needs to occur but usually I'll put up here so I guess that's from too much hill work etc so this one here is um, off one of the models that I've seen on um, again some photos you know, I apologize for the um, the handheld phone but um, it doesn't really show the hues properly but um, again you've got to blacken these out a little bit here, um, like that, and then the roof here, you'll see it's all very blotchy, and that is basically from a photo um, on the net. Uh, Comrail site's pretty good for, for that sort of stuff, and um, so you end up with the, the mix of the grime. So the grime's got to be put in first, and then you lighten it up. So the roof's all been lightened up. And this is just basically it's been on limestone traffic for a fair while and it just gets this dusty sort of look to it which i um, reasonably happy with so there we go of course the bogies end up sort of looking silver when in fact they're just dust but, uh, that's what that is now moving on We've got some 700s, and again, this is the first hit of this, and you think to yourself, oh my god, look at this. Well, this is actually from a prototype photo, so it's sort of a bit, um, you think to yourself, it's it's too far. Well, actually, it's not. Um, in fact, in some cases, it's actually conservative to um, do what it is. Um, but, you know, hey, it's all pretty good. And then on the other side here, Okay, so lots of this sort of uh, oil spillage detail. Um, and I've really liked.
whitened up the the green. So the green is um, you can see just in here. I haven't quite finished that off. That's the original green. So lots of work to be done on the ends, but that's okay. That's what we're here for. This is basically um, all. Of this is all for one day's work, sort of sorted out. Um, Again, same deal here. So the bogies to um, putting the grime wash into there gives you this, it goes into all little nooks and crannies like that. Now the bogies obviously have to be dusted up and of course again you need all of the um, sand and so forth to go through that. Okay. Same deal there. And then move on to the BLs. Now this is um, 26 of work in progress. Believe me, I have the air horn somewhere. I've got some replacement ones for this. As you can see, with two washes and some black wash in there, this is what the model version of the roof looks like. It's, you know, it's just chalk and cheese. I don't know where they get the bloody stone collar from, but it's it's not the AN collar. Um, so, you know, that's okay. Yeah, it gives me something to do. So, and these have just had um, the um, bogies and the fuel tanks um, grime washed. So, a bit, still a bit more work to be done on those. Okay, and then they've got these, these are just normal V line in classes. Um, Grime wash on here. There's a grime wash across the top of this. So it's pretty hard to tell that it's been grime washed, but once you look into the um, air conditioners, um, APU, um, heavy impoundment, sorry. Um, so it's just fairly subtle. It doesn't, you can see there on the V line that there's uh, grime through there. So you don't have to go too nuts with these. It needs a, obviously sand and it needs some exhaust um, to be done. And then you might also see that the anti-climber put some stuff on that. It just again, it's a grime wash. It gives it the detail, which I find is the, the best way to do that. Um, and then here we have C-Class. Now this is, um, one of SDS's new line of, you know, um, what is it, uh, Mighty Power, I believe, um, range, and um, it's been DCC'd. It's um, just been grime washed, so nothing, not, nothing too flash. Um, they got the air conditioner for it, so it's there, it's nice and flat, um, but. Two grime washes have produced this sort of um, dusty look because so you'll find on C classes that the uh, the sand would come up here and it would just that by the time it gets to the back it's almost halfway up the locomotive uh, and then of course you've got the um, uh, exhaust dust and everything else like that so it just um, I'm sure if you had gloves and touched them or anything it would uh, black as the ace of spades on you but um, not much else on the front here, just been a little bit of weathering there, but not much. But again, this is all just grime wash. This is all done with a brush. There's no, um, there's no airbrush on any of these quite yet. And it's just ever so subtle there. You just got a bit of a grime wash there on the back. But, uh, there you go. So. That's what we've done so far. There was more to be done, but um, obviously they're looking a hell of a lot better than they used to, grime wash wise. So, so there you go, it's one last long look. That should be good. All right, so there you go, there's a little bit of an update, and uh, yeah, have a good one.